I got a good treat today. I'm with my friend Yasser. Hi, Yasser. Uh, thank you. No. Thank you so much. So we're teaching a permaculture design course here in Suleimani, Iraq. And behind me, what was built here in the camp uh, by Yasser was a chicken coop. But I really want to show you uh, the earthen techniques that are used because this is a house, really. So come in and check it out. So it's a little bit of a shade structure here. Just it's like a run, just a chicken chicken run. And this uh I'll open this this for uh the weather is here very hot. This very good for no so exactly what Yasar was saying was this is it's so hot here you need shade structure for everything and it's true in this climate very little rain I was so blessed I was here for two days it rained but still maybe maybe one and a half inches right for, for the entire two days but everything needs shade right and as you're aware permaculture when we're in the dry lands we need to design for both harvesting water and design for shade these chickens they need the shade even your trees your baby trees and your vegetables they need the shade as well so this is this is used as a run and then it's attached uh, loosely attached to this earthen building that's made out of what we would call adobe brick so yeah so basically what you did is did you make a form out of wood you mixed up some cob sand, clay, and straw, and put it in the form, and did yeah, you make yeah. a brick? Uh, we're doing this. Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, we use soil, the gun is strong, it's strong. Uh, after uh, we put sun, sky, oh. after we use for the... Uh. Perfect. Exactly, the exact way we would do it in the southwest of the United States. Very easy. Very easy. For me, very easy. I, for you, it's very easy. So, uh, where you're from, everybody knows how to make this. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. maybe 10 by 18 that's about the size and feet how long did this take you to build uh, this uh, not every we don't work in every day but yeah. uh, it, I can't tell you maybe 12 days 10 days 12 days yes 10 or 12 days <laughs> so I've built some earthen structures this man must be yeah, a machine <laughs> two, two days for, for we built uh, so good on yes. if you would if you would see this right here. So this is about the thickness of these of the wall, right? About the, this thick to my hand. So maybe the bricks about the size of my hand, and then how many coats of earthen plaster are you putting on top of the bricks? Two, maybe one, two. Uh, two. So how yeah, thick? Yeah, this. Yeah. So about like that. Yes. So there's an earthen cob plaster about that thick. Uh, and then you did it twice, right? Yes, so twice. twice to make it that. Yes. Yeah. So it's standard cur uh, earthen construction. And uh, if this was a house, would you put white plaster? No, no, no. And it is just we use uh, soil. We throw with little uh, uh, goat. Goat. A uh, little bit of from goat. Uh, oh, the hair of a yeah. goat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, so they're using a little bit of hair of the goat to make a real fine uh, plaster. Thank you, I just learned something that was awesome. All right, so the roof is very interesting. The rafters, the uh, what kind of tree are you using? Uh, the type of tree? Uh, we use wood, 
what kind of way? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't ask for it's, this. It's just, okay. just I buy. No problem. Uh, this uh, if uh, little strong, strong, uh, yeah, strong because uh, uh, need little soil for exactly. So Yasar sets the rafters right on to the the bricks. So is there a brick here and a brick here, or only? Brick here. No, no. Brick here and here, this bit. Uh huh, yeah. And then brick here. Yeah, yeah. So he leaves a little hole and he sets the rafters and then and then he puts this thatch, this material, it's uh, reeds, is what it is basically. Reeds from like a marsh or a swamp. And that's woven together and that's the, that's the top layer for this style of house and then on top of that you put more cot yeah. right and then i think here there's a little bit of modern technology they put some plastic tarps on top of that and then more soil more right? soil and more mud yeah so super low tech there's not a lot of rain here and very very inexpensive <laughs> So in American dollars, um, if you were to pay Yassar and a team, this building would be about a thousand dollars, right? About a thousand dollars. But for Yassar, if he was to build it himself in his in his own in his homeland, I would say maybe three hundred, four hundred dollars, maybe maybe two hundred dollars, maybe two hundred dollars, yeah, right? Because uh, soil, uh, if you have soil. Yeah. You don't buy soil, you don't buy straw, you don't buy anything just to use, just you working. Yeah. Little money. In the winter, is warm in here? Very warm and in summer cold, little cold. It's a yeah. little cold. Yeah. And the foundation, this this time you use cement block. Yeah, but in my village uh, we use stone block. Yeah, so. yeah. But we don't have here, uh, we use cement block. So in your village with a stone rock, what do you put in between the rocks? Uh, mud. Just the same color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so basically, Yasar is a master mason. And, you know, what a blessing that, that he's available to show this. And if, if I lived here, uh, I would be calling up Yasar and be like, help me build a house, man. You know, it's so good. A uh, couple other things. These windows, he had, uh, I think he had a friend, basically some yeah. metal, welded a frame. And this is greenhouse plastic. Plastic, yeah. And then for the lintel, you just find some metal pipes. Yeah. Some metal pipes, I think this one has two. We have two. old one, just I cut for this. There's one pipe and you cut yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so it's, it's to, you know, for a lintel. And then over the door, there's, uh, there's three of them and over that little window, uh, this uh, I can for future build house for pigeon here. Ah, I yeah, see. It's for the pigeon this, nice. this for pigeon for to up. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, Yasar, thank you, man. Yeah, Bring it in. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Got on. <laughs> Thank you.